Okay, looking at question eight, which is the better deal? This is a question that's asking which is going to pay more interest without giving you all the different numbers. So why is this, why do we need to do this? It's because we've got these, at, one of these is happening quarterly and one of these is happening monthly. If they were both happening monthly, you'd simply choose the bigger number. Okay, so we could do this using a formula or the graphics calculator. I'm gonna do the graphics calculator answer. So what I'd recommend is you have this um, effective interest rate. Let's have a look at my formula sheet. I've got this down here. I think it's on page 70, maybe, maybe, maybe comparison rate. What, what I'm gonna do, make this red, green, orange, yellow, green. Comparison rates, rates of different time zones. So this would be the formula. If you were going to use the formula, I'm going to use the graphics. Now notice this is the F5. So go to finance, F5, you're putting in the numbers. Okay, so this, notice these questions don't have a lot of information, don't have any money. So just the rate and the, the um, time period. So four times a year, okay? Four times a year, eight. And then we press a button, so effectively, it's the same as 8.24% over the year, even though it's 8% because of the effect of paying it four times a year quarterly. All right, let's go back to a problem. Question eight. Okay, so comparison rates. Not quite sure what's happening with my capitals at the moment. Getting a bit gangster there. So what's the steps? One more time, we'll have a look at there, page 70. What are the steps going to be? Here are the steps. So you can see what the steps are. I'm gonna use the graphics calculator. So the first time, offer one. Okay, looking at offer one, it's seven, see, I guess uh, I'm thinking that that is going to be 7.2 and this is going to be uh, quarterly n equals 4 so let's go to the calculator bang so into finance bang this is the time where we use conversion to make it a yearly a once per year thing that's basically what's happening here once per year compound conversion so for this question n question 1 n is 4 quarterly is 4 times a year Seven and one fifth. Well, I'm going to go that seven and one fifth is 7.2. Okay, click, copy. This is offer one. Okay, enter. And so, how do we get our number? It's effective rate F1, 7.3. So if it's a investment, more interest is better. Don't you just love that? Let's just delete that and paste it again. If it's an investment, more interest is better. If it's a loan, less interest is better. So that's offer one, offer two. So after the graphics calculator, this would be good because it will get to how do you go backwards on a calculator? How do you go backwards? How do you go backwards? You press exit. So here we are back to the options. Normally we use F2, today we're using F5. Right, let's have a look at the question. Seven point six monthly, 12, 7.16. So this number is slightly smaller than that number. Enter. Okay. So the reason why these are here is that's for people to, you get a mark here for saying that's four, and you get a mark here for saying that's 12. So you know that's part of what the deal is. We're looking for so what knowledge you know. So you should take advantage of that. Here we are, effective rate. Let's see if we can do a good copy, screen copy this time. Okay, need to answer the question now. Which paid the 
higher rate over the year. They are practically the same. All right, 7.396%, 7.399%. Perhaps offer to slide. Never going to spell that right, was I? Better. At 7.4 versus 7. 0.396, which is about 7.4 anyway. Okay, someone's worked pretty hard to get that to happen, and I think it's 